emergency broadcast from the severe weather alert desk at Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. And we're gonna go immediately to the Storm Prediction Center because we have a violent, severe weather day unfolding with warm, moist air that we've been talking about for the last few days. It's gonna comax and climax later on this afternoon in the central and southern lower Michigan um, with widespread severe weather. We have a very strong uh, summertime storm system gathering strength and we've had pieces of energy move out of the Rocky Mountains and then ride up along a very moist, uh, very warm uh, tropical warm front that's pushed north through Michigan. And we have a strong uh, surface low pressure system now in central Iowa and it's going to track north and northeast through lower Michigan later on tonight. And we have ample heating of the day, very moist, very humid atmosphere, and we have uh, maximum wind shear now as we have, uh, even as we zoom into the tornado on up into the thumb. And you can see we have tornado watches and warnings through central and eastern Illinois, extreme northwestern Indiana, central lower Michigan, southwestern lower Michigan, uh, south central and central lower Michigan on up into the thumb and southeastern northern lower Michigan between uh, Pontiac, out to uh, Lansing, back down to South Bend, Indiana, and points north to Muskegon, on up to Houghton, just east and southeast of Houghton Lake, um, just south of Alpena, right? Running through the Saginaw Valley, the Zawaki Bridge, and on up into Sandusky, Port Austin. And if we go down Lake Huron, you're gonna run into Lexington, um, Port Huron, uh, St. Clair, uh, St. Clair County, south in the St. Clair uh, East China District, out out and west in the Flint, Lapeer County, Oakland, Washtenaw, Lenaway, uh, Macomb, Sand. All these counties are under a tornado watch, and uh, I expect numerous tornadoes to touch down this afternoon. And uh, one to two inch diameter hail, which is baseball size as possible, with forty to 90 mile an hour wind gust in the severe storms and 100 to 110 mile an hour winds in the tornado. If you get a tornado, I'll keep you updated on this. This is a very fluent situation. Uh, you can see a big area now for the Great Lakes and upper Midwest for to have a tornado watch. And the Detroit, the greater Detroit metropolitan area south of 8 Mile in the heart of Detroit, I would not take your guard down as some of these storms will continue to push east this evening, late this evening. And uh, there's ample moisture there too. Um, and I would not be surprised to see a severe thunderstorm watch or a tornado watch to include northeastern Indiana, northwestern, extreme northwestern Ohio, Toledo, and in, to include the Lenawee and Monroe counties and the other four counties in extreme southeast Michigan that are not covered. Um, we can see in a mesoscale discussion from the National Weather Service, uh, Morris, uh, Thunderstorm intensification is ongoing and likely to continue through late afternoon. Stronger storms will continue to pose a risk for tornadoes with organized clusters also pose a risk for damaging downbursts, which is uh, straight line winds. Uh, areas east and southwest of Tornado Watch 321 are being monitored for the possibility of additional watches. That's what we just went over in extreme northeastern Indiana, extreme northwestern uh, Ohio, Toledo North, and extreme southeastern Michigan, Lenaway, and Monroe counties, and Wayne and Washtenaw, right? Be on the lookout. I would not let my guard down there. A remnant uh, convectively generated surface boundary deformation zone between a pair of MCF remains the primary focus for deepening convective development and scattered vigorous embedded thunderstorm activity. Boundary layers, dew points are increasing through the lower 70s, which I can attest to in uh, the greater Roseville metropolitan area as it's very sticky here in the dew point of 71 currently southwest of Ohio into Michigan and remains in the mid 70s southwest of Chicago into St. Louis area and along a zone where low level uh, hydrographs also remain sizable beneath the 30 to 40 uh, KT south southwesterly 850 millibar jet, which is very impressive. The primary jet core now appears to be nosing into southern lower Michigan, but a secondary core appears to be currently migrating across northeast and north of the St. Louis metropolitan area. Despite weak lapse rates, the high boundary layer moisture content appears to be contributing to mac to mixed layer cap of 1500 to 2000. Uh, JKGs coupled with strong low level vertical shear, which is necessary turning of wind with height. The environment appears to be coming increasingly conductive to strengthening low level 
nuzzle clones within the stronger storms through late afternoon this may uh, occasionally pose a risk for tornadoes and or strong downbursts, which is straight line winds that can go at 80 to 100 miles an hour and cause substantial damage in localized areas, right? And if we look at the radar, we can see multiple tornado warnings right where I used to be. Oh, yes. They had not only had six inches of rain last night. Now we have a tornado warning in the greater uh, Bloomington metropolitan area in downtown Bloomington. Be on the lookout if you're there. Tornado warning is in effect. Uh, after you had six inches of rain and catastrophic flooding there last night, you have a tornado warning. And if we zoom into our high def radar, let's try to pick out where this would be at. Right here would be a spot just southeast of the greater. It actually rolled right through the greater Bloomington metropolitan area, normal, right? Right over the, the, the plant appears to be right here is the only signature I'm seeing on radar of... You can see that storm right there. Watch it. See how it's spinning? See it? And then we got another one right there. You can see that spinning. This one's probably got hail with it. Looks like big hail cores with both of them. And then if we move on a little bit further north and northeast, another one with a tornado warning. And just southeast of the Pontiac, Illinois, in the northern part of central Illinois, the greater Chicago metropolitan area looks to have a flood warning going on there. A tornado warning and now in the Three Rivers area in southwest Michigan at the Indiana uh, Illinois state line, right, in Michigan, but this is in extreme southwestern lower Michigan. Be on the lookout. It's tracking to the east-northeast, and if it holds together, we'll be between Coldwater and Battle Creek in the next hour to hour and a half, and more of these storms are moving through, and if we move north more, we have another tornado warning that's in central lower Michigan, just northeast, northwest of the state capital where the cronies and scumbags are in uh, East Lansing that kill the state of Michigan. Then if we move even farther northeast, just north of the Saginaw area, we have a tornado warning just in between Midland and Bay City. Be on the lookout. I see two little signatures here, right there and there. I'd be on the lookout for a possible tornado on the ground. Uh, the whole Grand Rapids metropolitan area down to the Kalamazoo area is under a flood warning. You've had four to five, six inches of rain last night and today. Um, do not drive through, as uh, Vincenzo Gold Crypto Investing always says, in this emergency wind, in this emergency severe weather outbreak alert, uh, turn around, don't drown, or if you're feeling down in the blue, drive straight on through that flooded roadway and take a chance, right? It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do there, but I'm going to tell you you got severe weather and uh, flood warnings in Jackson, Ann Arbor. Um, all of southeast lower Michigan or the extreme southeast lower Michigan that's not in a tornado watch has flood warnings because you had three to seven inches of rain last night and you're going to have two to four more inches of rain as scattered severe weather uh, moves through. I'll keep you updated as it gets into my local area in eastern and southeastern lower Michigan. My brother down in Clawson, uh, Liz and my father up in Chesterfield and my sister out up in the East China area. I'll keep you all updated in Metro Detroit as it moves into our viewing area over the next three to six hours. Like, subscribe, and share uh, more emergency updates to come.